Wasabi new goons, and welcome to another fantastic 5 minute review. Today, we'll be reviewing the retro Marvel Legends Mr. Fantastic. I will be covering the articulation, the paint job, the sculpt, in a more timely manner than the other guys. As far as sculpt, don't expect anything new or crazy to wow you out the box. It's just reprints of the last two Mr. Fantastics that we've received. It's okay, I guess. I don't like his feet. They're really hard to pose and they're really stuck at times. I would have liked there to be more, you know, definition and separation. Like that would have been nice if the white between the blue by his feet was like actually separated. I don't know. You could have made it feel like material. It's not bad. I I'll just say that. It's not bad. I will say this figure, if we're going over his his uh, sculpt, he has a great like sculpt for the head. Uh, the paint looks pretty decent. It's definitely reminiscent of that 1980s, early 90s TV show and comic. So he's it's got the vibe of what he would look like back then. So I'm not saying you know, thinking it's not matching its source material. It just looks like the paint could have been a little bit better. The paint on the floor is, uh, I guess for better sense, fantastic. I do like the white and the, the the black. I do think the separation is just, it's, it's good. It looks perfect in my eye. The paint is passable. Like I said, this is a pretty standard Marvel Legends character. There's not much to complain about besides his issue standing and their weird choices in certain accessories i do like compared to the last two like sue all i got was um field force field effect and two hands johnny i got you know reused weird effects that go around him they didn't really add to much but they were cool to have articulation is i have a few gripes with it so we'll go over you know swivel bicep you have double jointed uh, elbows, which is nice because it lets you get a nice pondering look for Reed. It's like, I'm thinking, I'm the Mr. Fantastic. I like to do science and stuff. <laughs> but, um, same thing for the other arm. You've got swivel at the thigh. Just a simple open like that. It's nothing to write home about. You've got a swivel at the torso where the waist meets. Ball joined head that really only allows for front and back there's no side movement in that there's no thankfully um articulation in the in the calf i never understand that because you know my calves aren't articulated so i don't understand why his are i i hate these feet they're very stiff oh look it's ripping there wow that's crazy look at that marvel legends for you it's ripping there yep this is my cheapest figure out of this that's the three i've gotten he's the worst but he has issues standing. You have to pose him in such weird positions just to get him not to fall over. Like, I'm definitely going to have to get a stand for him and The paint suit. on his legs is horrible. Like, it's like splotchy and it looks really badly applied. I mean, the line here is good. But, like, just around his knees just looks so bad in the blue area. So I'll start off the bat by saying for accessories, I love this. I think this lab coat is just pure perfection. This is, honestly, like, I almost think about uh, posing Reed with the lab coat on, but I, I just like his normal costume more. My number one gripe with this is these weird, stretchy fingers. Like, obviously, I get he can do that, but, like, I would have rather appreciated stretchy arms. Like, I don't understand their choice of stretchy fingers, but you yeah. obviously get the lab coat arms. They come on Reed pre-put on. I don't like these hands, so... I use the lab coat hands more. So my final thoughts on this Reed Richards. I'm going to be honest. I hate his articulation. He has hard issues standing. Um, as I showed you, the plastic is breaking at certain points because he feels very brittle. Like his elbows feel like they're going to snap off. His legs are way too thin. So like, I mean, it, this figure is only 14 bucks. So if you're looking to just have a Reed in your collection, then sure, get this Reed. But like if you want a definitive read, uh, look at the other uh, brands or look at better, ver older versions of him because this m might not cut it for you. I don't, this really doesn't cut it for me, especially even like the inclusion of the fingers. It just seems lazy. It's like the other ones had arms and other better features for making a more stretchy look for rubber. But I don't know. That's just me. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, could you like, share or f uh, follow? Anything you do helps, and we really appreciate it. 
and I would love to hear some feedback. Wow, can you believe we made it to the end of this video? I mean, who needs Netflix when you've got entertainment like this? If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and smash, no, destroy that like button. And hey, if you're feeling generous, why not hit the share button and spread the love? Bye!